So you want to make enemies detect player only within a certain range? Hey, it's Ice and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a line of sight in Godot. Ok, go to the enemy, here add a Raycast 2D. Basically it's a line that is able to detect collisions and nothing much. So first of all, don't forget to enable it. I don't know why it's not enabled by default, but it isn't, so be careful. Here we set the cast values that basically defines the direction of this raycast. So we need it to be a straight line that will be rotated. So set the y to 0 and the x to 70. For instance, we can set the collision layers for it and we can set whether it can collide with areas and or bodies. We will detect just the player's body. Ok, rename the raycast to line of sight and now let's add some functionality. The raycast has no signals, however it has a few very convenient methods that we are going to use. Go to the code and here first of all add a reference to it and under player create a boolean variable called player spotted. In physics process if the player exists rotate the line of sight so it's always looking at the player's global position and generate a path and navigate by this path only when the player is spotted. Ok, a reasonable question would be how we can spot the player if it's false here, right? We're going to create another method called check player in detection and its functionality would be this. Ok, so the first line variable collider is line of sight get collider. What is it? As I said, Raycast has a bunch of very useful methods and get collider returns the first object that the ray intersects or null if no object is intersecting it. So we check if there is some object and if it is, then we check if this object in the player group and if it is, then we obviously just found the player and we set the player spotted to true. We we print the message that currently serves just debug purposes and we also return that player is in the detection area. So you might ask, why do we return true or false regarding if the player is in the detection if we already have the player spotted variable? It's a nice question. C player spotted variable changes only once. First it's false and then it sets to true at the first time when the player was spotted. So it's like an alarm, you are detected. However, this method can be called every single frame telling us whether the player is in the range and it is very useful for position specific behaviors like enemies that would shoot the player only in a certain range like 300 pixels, right? And further than that, they will not shoot the player, they will chase it or whatever. So you get the idea. Now, after we set the rotation of the line of sight, call this our new method. And, well, we can already check it. As you can see, it's working. The raycast has just collided with us and player spotted is now true and the enemy is already chasing us. However, there might be a very serious problem and you see what. Look, this enemy has detected us and it's trying to chase us. However, this second enemy, we can see that its ray cast also touching the player, but for some reason it doesn't chase us. The problem is that this ray cast currently intersects every physics body and detects it. So whether it's a player whether it's a wall or an enemy, it will be all collided with our raycast. However, in your game you probably don't want a bunch of enemies not track to player because they are behind one of the enemies, right? And in our project I want them to be able to see player through each of them. However, the only obstacles that must be for the raycast are the player itself and the walls, because you obviously don't want to say that the player can be spotted if it is not visible. The solution to it would be using collision layers. Go to project settings and in general tab open layer names 2D physics. I have already covered collision layers in my Combat Essentials episode 2, so if you want an introduction, 
please watch my video. Without further ado, rename the layers to environment, player and enemy. Close, save. Update the scene and now let's set the collisions for our line of sight. Collision mask, environment and the player. Okay, good. And enemy. It exists in the enemy layer and it will interact with environment, player and enemy. Here, tile map. It exists in environment and interacts with player and enemy. Well, it doesn't really interact, but still, we can use it. It's not a big deal for now. And the player. It must exist in the player layer and collide with the environment and enemy. Great. Now let's see if our system is working. As you could see, some of the raycasts were going through the enemy and still they detected the player. So that was what I wanted to make. So that's it. Hopefully that was useful and you liked it and if you did. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It was Ayas and until next time.